Hi everyone, I am Srija. Today I am telling a famous Japanese folk tale, Momotaro. Once upon a time, there was an old couple lived in a remote village of Japan. The old man used to collect firewood from the mountain. The old woman stayed at home. One day, she was washing her clothes in the nearby river. Suddenly she saw a big peach was floating on the river. She was shocked because she had never seen a big peach like this. She took it to her home. When the old man came, he was surprised to see the large peach and the old woman said to him, Look, what a wonderful peach I found for your supper. He was so hungry that he said, Let's divide it and eat it right away. So the old woman took a big knife from the kitchen and was getting ready to cut the peach in half. But just then, there was the sound of a child from inside the peach. Wait, don't cut me. Suddenly the peach split open and a beautiful baby boy jumped out. The couple had no children, so they decided to keep the baby as a gift from gold. They decided to name the baby boy Momotaro meaning the peach boy. Momotaro ate a lot and grew up to be a big and strong. He was able to help out old couple. One day, Momotaro heard a story about some evil ogres, which were horrifying houses and causing terrible problems for people. They stole all the treasures of his village. When Momotaro heard this, he decided to go and help his villagers. He went to his father and said, Dad, you have always been very kind to me. Now I am a big boy and I must do something to help my country. In a distant part of the sea, there is an island named Augur Island. Many wicked augurs lived there and they often come to our land and do bad things. So I am going to Augur Island and fight them and bring back the treasure which they have there. Please let me do this. The couple said farewell to Momotaro as he set off to find the bad guys. Before he left, the old woman gave Momotaro some special dumplings that would give him more energy to fight. Along the way, Momotaro met a dog and gave him one of the dumplings. The dog decided to come along with Momotaro on his quest to fight the ogres. Momotaro and the dog walked up the mountain path. Along the way, they met a monkey. Momotaro gave the monkey a dumpling and the monkey joined them. Momotaro, the dog and monkey continued on their journey and soon ran into a green pheasant. And Momotaro gave the pheasant a dumpling, the pheasant joined them. So with Momotaro as their general, the dog, the monkey and the pheasant followed him. They walked a long, long way and finally reached the sea. At the edge of the sea, Momotaro built a boat. In that boat, they crossed the sea. When they arrived at the island, they saw a gate. Using all their power, they smashed through the gate. Behind the gate, they found the ogres. Momotaro, the dog, the monkey and the pheasant all attacked the bad guys and defeated them. Momotaro ate one dumpling and defeated the red auger, who was the boss. It was a fierce battle. The augurs bowed down before Momotaro and promised never to do wicked things again. Then they bought Momotaro all the treasure they had stored in the fort. The old man and the woman were happy to see their son, who returned safely from the auger island, and everyone lived happily ever after. That's a beautiful end of the story. Thank you.